my name is Craig Daft, and uh, I'm Brent's best man today. Uh, I really didn't want to do this today, but I thought it might be the only chance I'll ever get to have a meal and some drinks paid for by the game. <laughs> All jokes aside, it's an honor and privilege to be up here represent, representing this awesome group of guys. Unbelievably, this is the second time I've been asked to do this, and Brent, I couldn't be more uh, thankful that you chose me to do it. I'd like to formally thank the parents of the bride for providing us with this beautiful farm uh, and for hosting what should prove to be an epic party in celebration of Brent and Alex's marriage. Brent and I go way back all the way back to Circus 1993. <laughs> you know what I say Circus, because I feel like that is what the last 25 years have been, and I wouldn't change a thing. It all started in Miss Arbogast's kindergarten class, where I looked across the room and I saw the only other dude standing there repping the rat tail. <laughs> I was like, that dude right there looks pretty cool. <laughs> I'm gonna make friends with him. <laughs> As most of you know, Brent was an exceptional athlete growing up. But there's one instance that occurred, and to tell you the truth, I'm still pissed about it. <laughs> I was supposed to be untouchable on the mound that year, and it was our 12 years, uh, 12 year old uh, Little League opening day, and uh, I'll be daggone in third or fourth inning, Brent blasted a home run off of me that still hasn't landed. <laughs> It was the first one I'd ever given up at that time, and I'd pitched for a lot of years. And to be honest, bud, I'm still mad about it, and I never forgive you for it. Uh, also, uh, it's about every high school football player's dream that's in West Virginia to play for WVU. Uh, let's just say that if you ever get invited to go and play for WVU and to walk on, don't wear a Michigan uh, shirt to the first day of practice. <laughs> Uh, I know someone that did that, and it didn't set over very well with the coaches. Uh, Brad's mom and dad uh, have always been awesome people to me. They used to uh, invite me to go on their yearly vacation down the outer, outer banks with them as well. But there's one time that sticks out in my mind uh, more than others. Uh, Captain Dan uh, decided to pull his motorboat down with us. And um, let's just say one day we were uh, about two miles, three miles out in the ocean. He decided to start showing off a little bit. And uh, we ended up lodging that thing on a sandbar about two miles out with waves crashing over the side of the boat. We damn near all died. <laughs> let's just say uh, sharing a, a, a near-death experience with your buddy actually adds to, you know, adds to your friendship. Uh, Brant, I cherish our friendship. And I'm proud of what it's grown over to uh, in the last 25 years. Um, I've shared some of the best times of my life with you, and uh, I look forward to sharing many more. Uh, I'm so glad that you've found the love of your life and someone that you can spend the rest of your life with and be happy with. And Alex, you look absolutely beautiful tonight. Uh, Brant is a lucky man to found someone who so thoroughly understands what it means to be so patient. <laughs> That's a key word, patient. Uh, we couldn't have picked uh, someone better our, ourselves, and we want to, and our group of friends, welcome you to our family. Um, we got a few more left back there that, uh, that any of us could be up here doing this today, but, um, you know, we welcome you and uh, with open arms. We couldn't have chosen anyone better ourselves. So, uh, everyone, let's stand around. Um, let's cheers uh, the ones that are here with us, and, uh, and the ones that aren't, let's have a cheers for Brant and Alex, and a happy life. Uh, congrats. Cheers.